uh, welcome you to our sharing today having looked at the first day we looked at uh, God inviting us to become friends and the second day we responded to that invitation I was my response to that invitation that God is calling me into his friendship and today is very cutting you know, off very important because today we want to look at our identity what is our nature what is our identity in Christ Jesus and uh, the, the gospel we are taking is you can take the whole from Matthew Mark because the story is in the, the, the gospels Jesus asked the apostles who do people say that I am and the apostles said, some say you are Elijah, John the Baptist, one of the prophets who has risen from the dead. And Christ Jesus asked them, but you, who do you say that I am? And St. Peter says, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. That was the identity of Christ. Jesus is doing the same with us. Is asking us who do people say that I am and at the end of that conversation is asking us what about you as an individual who do you say that I am the answer that we give to that question is very important and uh, we should take time to reflect on our relationship with our God so that we do not copy answers from other people's way of expressing their relationship with God. We must have a definite answer. The answer that is particular, that's specific to me, depending on my relationship with my God. Not depending on the relationship of other people I've heard about. My relationship with God must reflect in the way we relate to him. What names do you give God? What kind of titles do you give God? What descriptions can you give that will show your level of uh, understanding and relationship with God? We see from the Bible people who forgot their true identity. And such a people just doing Esau and Jacob. We know that uh, uh, Esau saw this birthright. He saw what is most precious to him. He forgot his true identity. You and me, we are in the same issue. The Bible declares to us, we are adopted sons and daughters of the Most High God. That's our true identity. And once we begin to understand our identity in Christ Jesus, Therefore, it becomes easier to relate to God. It becomes easier to have a relationship with God. It becomes easier to become committed Christians. Most of the times, uh, you and me fumble along the way because we forget who we are. We forget what God has said about us. We forget that we are adopted. We are in higher life and we begin to live life like an average person. Our life in Christ Jesus, like St. Paul would tell us, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Paul is a good example of a person who knew his identity in Christ Jesus. St. Paul is a very good example. With all troubles, with all persecution going on, one day Peter, uh, St. Peter and John were arrested and they were caned and asked questions and forbid to speak about the resurrection of Christ. With courage filled with the Holy Spirit, St. Peter said, decide among yourselves if you have to obey God or to obey you. But as for us, we we'll continue proclaiming the word of God. Paul and Silas, they were in the prisons. At the midnight, they were singing psalms, they were praising God. 
when you are told the place where they were was shock because of the presence of God. That is the true nature of someone who knows his identity in Christ Jesus. That the situation, the circumstances of the world do not define them. What defines us is a relationship with our God, not our situations. We may be living in a life where we are lacking material things, we are not doing as others are doing, but that is not what defines who we are. St. Paul, like I am saying, St. Paul is a good example with all the persecutions that uh, followed him. St. Paul would stand and say, no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. Why? Because he understand God is his divine protector. God is his divine protector. The names of Yahweh, God my provider, God my healer, Shalom, God of peace. When everything around is going bad, as a person who knows his identity, who know and have peace that others are seeking, but for him that peace is within. Because once we understand our true identity, then we can overcome the world. We know that all things works for good for those who believe in God. We know, we are aware that all things works for good for those who believe in God. For you and me, who believes in God? For you and me, who knows that God, Christ Jesus, dwells in us? What is your response today? Do you know who you are in Christ? Do you know that you are the son of the Most High God? You are the daughter of Zion, the Most High God. Do you know, have you convinced yourself that nothing can separate us from the love of God? It's St. Paul who tells us, once we know who we are, once we convince ourselves, once we come to a level of understanding that nothing can separate us from the love of God, then we begin to live a life above mediocre, a life without faith. What is faith? Faith is believing, assurance that believing something not yet seen. Once we understand, this is very important, once we understand our true identity, not as the world defines us, oh, you are a teacher, you are a doctor, you are a lawyer, uh, the world defines us by our character, by what we do. But God defines us differently. No wonder when God sent uh, Samuel to anoint one and just his family to become the king, God forbid him not to look at the structure of a human person because the Bible says God looks at the heart. And you are told when they brought sons, handsome sons, tall sons, God said, none of these. And someone asked, do you have a son apart from these ones? And say, yes, he's tending the sheep. Say, call him. And when David came, God said, this is the man. This is the one. When God chose us, he elevates us. He anoints us for the mission. God anoints us, preparing us for a mission. Once we understand who we are in Christ, once we understand that no weapon fashioned against us shall prosper, once we understand who we are in Christ Jesus, then we can use the authority that God has given us. Remember in the Acts of Apostles 19.11, when the sons of Sceva were trying to, to cast demons, 
The demons ask them, who are you? Jesus we know, Paul we know, but who are you? They never knew their authority. They didn't understand their identity. And the demons beat them up. You must understand your identity. For those who accepted him, they became his children. The Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 12. Have you accepted him as your Lord and personal Savior? Accept Jesus and he will show you his identity. Let us pray, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. May the Holy Spirit encourage us to accept Jesus as Lord of our life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and God bless you. I hope to see your identity uh, comments in the section where we post the video. God bless you.